In this video tutorial, I will show you a very simple process to move your WordPress site from one host to another. Before that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Your subscription means a lot. Please subscribe. We will download this Infomercia site from my GoDaddy account and upload it in Furnish Lab site in other GoDaddy hosting account. Under this process, we need to download only the WP content directory contents and the database file of the WordPress site. So let's get started. Log into your GoDaddy account. Click Manage tab under Web Hosting section. And next, click cPanel Admin. cPanel settings page is more or less similar in all the web hosting sites. In cPanel settings page, click File Manager. In the File Manager page, click Public HTML. And I select the site folder on the right side. In this video, we will see how to move this information site. We need to double click into the site folder and next, we need to download this WP content folder. The WP content folder contains all the WordPress themes and plugins we currently installed and all other media elements like images and videos we have uploaded. So let's compress this folder into a zip file. And next, we need to download it to our computer. Next, we need to view and note down the database file from wpconfig.php file. Let's open the file here and this file named wp3 we need to download. Under database section in cPanel manager from php my admin. We need to download this wp3 database file. These are the only files we need to move the WordPress site to new hosting account. Next, we will see the process of uploading this Infomercia site files into Furnish Labs in the other hosting account. Next, let's log into the other GoDaddy hosting account. Click Manage under Web Hosting and then cPanel Admin. Now, here we need to install WordPress site first. So, in cPanel Manager, we need to click WordPress icon under Web Applications. We are on the WordPress application page. Next, we need to select the website domain on which you wish to install. Or, you can also install WordPress in a directory or subfolder of the site. So, let's install WordPress in FurnishLabs.com domain name. Here, we will install it in the main domain itself. Next, enter login details for the WordPress site like username, password, and admin email, and as well as WordPress site name and tagline. And finally, click install button in the bottom to install the application. The WordPress site installation is under process and now it's done. We need to upload Infomercia files in this WordPress site. Next, we need to go to the cPanel file manager and upload WP content folder and update the database file. So let's get started. Here, same process. Click public HTML and double click WordPress site folder. Next, we need to change this existing WP content folder name of the installed site. And next, let's upload the Infomercia WP content zip folder and next extract it here. Next, we need to update the database file in PHP My Admin. So, first let's open WP config file and note the database file on this Furnish Labs WordPress site database file name WP. Next, 
click PHP My Admin and here we can see all the database of WordPress installed in our hosting site. We need to go to this WP5 database. We need to select all the files and delete. So click empty or drop here. And next we need to upload the Infomercia WP3 WordPress database file that we downloaded from the other hosting account. And once uploaded, we need to change and update the website domain name, Furnish Labs, in two places. Search for WP option on the left. Click and open. First, change it in Site URL option. We need to change the old domain name to new domain name, Infomercia, to Furnish Labs. Next, in the Home option, we need to change and update the same. If the old and new domains are one and the same, then no need to change. Now we can refresh the WordPress site and verify if there is no issues with the entire site. All the pages, menu and interface are working just fine. We have successfully done moving WordPress site manually. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial video. Please like, comment and share the video if it was helpful and also subscribe to my channel to get updates when new content is added. Thank you.